disclaimer that I want to make. Um, and just for those who don't understand who and what the Ahmadis are, the Ahmadis are a group of people who believe in the Quran, the veracity of the Quran, and they actually even believe in the Sunnah, uh, the, you know, the, the literature of the Muslims, uh, of the Sunni Muslims, like Bukhari, Muslim, etc. And, um, but they also believe, which is what separates them from the main body of uh, Sunni Islam and Shia Islam, in fact, um, that there was a prophet that came after, they called him Ghulam Ahmed. Now, this man was a man who was born in 1835 and died in 1908 and uh, was in British occupied India at that time. Now, I'm not going to go into conspiracy theories about him liaising and uh, conspiring with the British. Of course, this is the mainstream kind of narrative within Sunni circles, which is that, you know, he was com conspiring with the British or he was enacting the British will in that, um, you know, uh, he kind of um, uh, unprioritized the, uh, the, uh, the uh, obligation of jihad, physical uh, fighting back, because the British at that time, um, they had an agenda, of course, to, uh, to um, demilitarize, if you like, the aggressing uh, military elements of the Indian uh, col colonial peoples. That's a, that's a conspiracy, I would call it. Well, it could be true. I'm not going into the details of this now because it's not my area of um, interest at this point in time. Uh, but it's important just to know what kind of narratives are out there. Now, here's what I do want to say, which I think is very important. Um, how do we know a prophet is a prophet? This is a good question. Okay, how do we know a prophet is a prophet? Now, in the Islamic tradition, I've already made the argument that from a completely textual basis, that they cannot be seen to be any prophet that comes after Prophet Muhammad. Why? Because of the, the verse in Surah Al-Ahzab where he's referred to as Khatim and Khatim Nabiyin. So, that he's the seal of the prophets but he's also the final prophet. Now, linguists and mufassirun, exegetes of the Quran throughout all of history have said that this means that he is the final prophet. The prophet himself said in Bukhari, uh, in many different riwayat, in fact, different narrations that la nabiyya ba'di, there's no prophet after me. Uh, 